Welcome to Spice Candies. This is the story and how I started to make candies and opened this channel almost six years ago. Everything started in the summer of 2010. My kid came to me, he was at the age of five, and told me, hold this one please for me. So he went on chatting with his friends and I started reading the recipe or basically ingredients. And what I saw there was Ponsu. Ponsu is a standard red color for candies these days. But Ponsu is also used in laboratories around the world. It's used to dye proteins. Being a molecular virologist by trade, I just saw the material safety data sheet, which is a data sheet you have on every reagent and chemical you use. And my hair just stood up. I just really, really did want him to eat that. Today it's considered a safe dye, but back then the material safety data sheet was not user friendly, let's put it this way. It was scary. So what to do? I offered him uh, decent ice cream in return for this being thrown to the garbage. We went home and we were both happy. But then I started thinking, there's got to be a way to make natural organic candies. It's ridiculous. Now, standard production uses dyes because you need a really, really tiny amount to make a huge batch of these things and flavorings, same thing. And the tiny amounts of dyes and flavorings don't affect the way the candy behaves. Meaning the manufacturer will always pour it at 150 degrees Celsius, 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And when I started experimenting, I saw why, because making a flavored candy with natural organic ingredients changes the way the candy behaves so there are candies that are really really hard to make and there are candies that are really really easy to make but they all get to affect to some extent the way the candy behaves it's much more complex and hence not really feasible when you're trying to make a candy factory basically that uses only organic candies so I set a goal to myself to teach you guys how to make natural organic candies to your own liking. You can adjust these, play with these, make them the way you like them. Sweets, jams, ice creams as well. Much better when you make them on your own because you add the amount of sugar you want or sugar alternative. And you can make them the way you like them. So, hope you enjoy. Hope you subscribe if this is the content you like, and I'll be seeing you. Thanks for watching. Have a sweet day.